Hello everyone and welcome to Monkeyfish channel. In today's video I would like to share with you one self-defense technique which I used when I was a teenager. Before we start it, I want to say that I am not a self-defense guru and this is not a golden technique which is going to work every time. I did it one time in my life and in this time worked. I don't remember exactly how it was because I think I was 16 in this time and I wasn't the biggest guy in the school. I, my weight was around 55 kilos, so I was pretty easy target. And let's call this guy Bully. So this Bully came to me and had some problems. I don't remember why he had problems, but he had some problems. He started pushing me and yeah, first he pushed me, hold me a little bit, talk to me something. Then later he just, you know, made some aggression moves. I did nothing, I tried to calm him down with just talking to him because I don't, I don't remember what was the problem. But I tried to go out from this fight without fighting. And yeah, then he grabbed me again and started hitting me like this to the wall. And in this moment, I was hitting like this. I remember I was really light, so every gentle move was for me like pretty hard <laughs> so when he was hitting me like this i hit a few times with my head to the wall and after that i start getting angry and you know in this time i didn't have any martial experience i didn't train anything and uh, i don't know from where i know this technique but i just did it i think it was just an instinct and yeah so i know that some people showing this kind of stuff that you put your hand here, go out and you can do something. But the truth is that uh, when the guy holding you and you do nothing, then he thinks that he is the winner here. If you don't fight him back, he will just hold you like this and his arms gonna be quite relaxed. But in the moment when you just grab his arms, then fight starts. He going to fight back, so he make a stiff arm. Mm -hmm. and it's really difficult to do anything in this moment. So if I go here, we see what's happening. It's nothing. It's going to be not that easy as you can see in the self-defense videos. So you have to do something what he don't expecting. So don't grab his arms. You have to find a different way. Okay, so I have a friend here with me and I didn't show him the techniques. So we're going to see his real reaction. So what I did in this situation, I just want to try to make him come down and it doesn't work at all. And after this few hits to the wall, I get angry. And what I did, it was like this, I just did like this, and like, mm -hmm. and he hit his nose to my forehead. <laughs> my technique looks only like this. Hop, boom. This is it. Only hop, boom. <laughs> this is it. And works pretty well. I didn't do any fancy stuff, but the result was that this guy, he, I don't think he breaked his nose, but his nose started bleeding. And this is, and this was over because he let off the grip and he stepped back. He still talked some stupid stuff to me, but he wanted to stop bleeding. So actually fight was over. And actually he burst himself more than me and I won the fight, which I was losing. But yeah, it wasn't the end of the stories with this guy, but maybe I will talk about this in another video. So in my story, I was the small guy and my opponent was bigger. And this technique worked pretty well in this situation because he was holding me here, I just looked like this. So his reaction was boom. So he hit with his nose to my forehead. But I don't know how this technique would work when somebody is the same height because this would not work the same. And yeah, how, as I said before, I did this technique only one time in my life in, and this technique works for me in this moment. This was the first real self-defense technique what I did in my life. Thank you for watching, see you next time.